click the links for Odyssey, bitch, to support me on coffee, or to join the channel. Are people done with Hollywood? ScarJo enters the Blacklist universe at Disney, and Netflix is down 20%. You got a lot of factors going on here. The Wu Flu, Flu, BLM, Antifa, the insane, insane media, even Epstein, Weinstein type of stuff. All these factors are working together to create a lot of resentment towards the globalist Hollywood media machine. Most people use Twitter as their social media. I, I don't use Twitter. I use the uh, YouTube comment section under the mainstream news videos. People are getting upset. I read comments from people on the left. They come out and they these videos and they they say you know they support BLM and police reform, but then they also start to gently mention that you know perhaps in some cities we might actually need more police and maybe we should do something about this looting and violent crime. Or in videos regarding the Wu flu, they get ratioed and people in the comments are wondering if perhaps the whole thing isn't just maybe a little teeny bit exaggerated. Like most people believe in it, but a lot of the narrative doesn't follow the science. In fact, it directly goes against the scientific method. There's a lot of anger building up. Because people are catching on that we can group these things together. Hollywood, academia, the media, and social media. They're all communists and evil, evil, filthy people who hate you. The odd thing is, even the left is getting sort of weirdly interesting on some issues that used to be their darlings. There are some schisms opening up on the left. A lot of time, the left and the right would argue over films. The 2015 Star Wars was a good example that seemed to kick things off. That was a that was a, a split by left and right and young versus old. The right laughed at it. They watched it once, and they never saw it again. The left defended it, but they also never rewatched it because it sucked. And if you, you chart the, the sales of that thing, it just went down all three films. And that followed for the next five years. The left would get outraged when the right laughed at dumb movies. But the left never actually supported them. They just got outraged that the right didn't like them. Like, uh, you know, Ghostbusters, uh, Charlie's Angels, uh, Terminator, uh, The Last X-Men. It seemed, there was a bunch of movies that you go, oh, hey, how come, how, come, how come you guys didn't go out and support it if it's all stunning and brave women? We were busy that weekend. But these uh, then things now things have changed a bit because the left won their dream candidate, Emperor Biden, <laughs> and everything is going well for them. Yes, it's true. The value of the dollar is dropping like a Led Zeppelin, and the doors to the south are opened, and BlackRock, funded by the censored, is buying houses. You'll own nothing, and be hap happy little slaves because someone owns it and it won't be you it'll be the Rothschilds or Soros so yes there will be some belt tightening so the taxpayers can pay for the enrichment of those who take and don't give all this actually doesn't sound like something one would desire working to pay others who don't wish to work it seems technically like slavery but that apparently is their utopia. So the right is out of power and due to the changing demographics is out of power forever. It turns out diversity wasn't their strength after all. My gosh, they lied to you this whole time. But the point is the right is the um, underdog now and forevermore. So they are looking at the rather evil Hollywood CNN media machine with a new eye. Hollywood and the left are the bad guys. They were working to destroy the nation all along. That's what globalism does. It destroys the nation of the cattle. You have nationalism or globalism. There's no middle ground. I think even left-wing people are looking at the globalists now, the far left, and they're starting to wonder what the hell is going on. The left had some dream in the 60s, and it has turned into corporate globalists seizing power Welcome to McDonald's America, where every town in America looks exactly the same. Is that the dream of the 60s realized? Corporate-run, globalist, ghetto America? Congratulations. If I could go back in time, I would spay and neuter every filthy hippie on Earth. 
Oh great, the Black Panthers. Oopsie daisy, they're now the Crips and Bloods. Was Gangland America really what they had planned? Turns out there is no rainbow coalition. There's only tribalism. My point is people are realizing that the liberal dream has turned into a nightmare, but that it was that was what the puppet masters had planned all along. Americans were taken for a ride. Not the base ones. They knew all along. But we didn't listen because the schools and medias brainwashed us into thinking it's the phobicism was wrong. If the media and schools say it's evil, then it is the highest good. Because the media and academia are basically Lucifer, the prince of lies. I know it's uh, it's a weird it's weird to start coming to these conclusions that the past hundred years have all been crap and just been propaganda. But you know, better late than never. It all starts by waking up from bread and circuses. If people turned off the mainstream media and put down the smoke, drink, and prawn, and got on Gab or any alt social media. After a month, they would censored down Washington. They would be censored in the streets, and the mansions of Pelosi, Sanders, Schumer, Maxine Waters would have new tenants. Americans would seize the banks and media and censored a few million globalists. Maybe a wealth dispar- disparity uh, where you've got Chelsea Handler flying her dog on a private jet to visit her. <laughs> only took 50,000 gallons of fuel or Epstein with an island or Weinstein with an empire used to abuse women and children and then you have people living in mobile homes shacks or ghettos maybe that needs to change the far left commies and the far right Hugo Boss actually agree that the left is funded by people who keep the left um, the left wing kids so busy fighting and distracted that they never realize it the Venn overlap diagram between Antifa and BLM and the fashionable ones is actually tighter than they think on things that matter. Hey, you guys could actually get everything you want if you, one, created separate states with enforced borders, and two, seize the assets of the puppet masters, which is what the left says they want to do anyway. They always say they want to eat the rich, but they never seem to actually propose any proposals to actually eat the rich, because they're funded by the rich, you idiots. Do you think the ultra-wealthy is funding... Antifa and BLM so that you can take their money away? Look at the people who are controlling the purse strings. You can't possibly be this naive. You have more in common with the far right than you do with the people who are funding you. Follow my logic here. I feel like I'm just in clown world taking crazy pills every fucking day. Um, You can't get what you want and live in the same state because you have interests adverse to each other. But you can, that's a great shot, if you separate The puppet masters don't want you to separate. They want Antifa attacking Christian groups in, where is that, Portland or something? That accomplishes nothing but vitriol. Gee, Antifa and BLM, you've accomplished nothing for the past few years, except you got a few of your own guys uh, deleted, and to be fair, you've deleted a few other people's. Good for you. You, you, uh, What what happened in the Chaz? Uh, Six six people were, um, were six, six six people were shot. All POCs on POCs. Good going. Good going, Antifa. What's your goal? Uh, like, we want a new, like, national anthem for the blacks or, like, whatever? And kneel at the NFL or some shit? And money? Uh, okay, the gang, banks, <laughs> the gangs, the, yeah, the bank is a gang, gave a billion of, I guess, shareholder money to a fund that is administered by their fellow bankers, i.e. their nephews. It's kept in an account that is put to work making money to make the bankers even more money and, you know, hire more of their fellow lawyers to administer the fees. So it's for BLM, right? So where are the low-income schools? What's the money actually doing to stop the cycle of crime and violence? Nothing. If they wanted to break the cycle of ghetto America, they would have opened. They wouldn't have opened the doors in 1965 with Hart Cellar and replaced the fathers with the taxpayers. If you fund something, you'll get more of it. If you're pro-choice and like just throw out the religious or the ethics completely aside, that supports a cycle of poverty. So does welfare and a revolving door legal system. Uh, if you want, let me get that image. Just get back there. If I want to get the image back there. Uh, if you wanted to actually do anything, if you wanted to stop violent police interactions. 
in all it would take is 50 years, a few generations, you'd end welfare and create workfare, mandatory farms and factories, work programs. Go to school as, as long as you want, but instead of getting brainwashed in CRT, learn some tech and go build American-made flashlights or whatever. Oh yeah, you'd have to cut trade with China. Oh darn. Well, F China. But think of the poor billionaires, NGOs who were parasites in commercial zone Weimar America. They won't be able to get that Lear um, F740 model. They can only get the 650 model. Oh, darn billionaires. Maybe Kitty started to wake people up as if Epstein Weinstein wasn't enough to wake people up. Kitty's was kind of more in your face and was just friggin' abhorrent. They were saying, we are unto gods among you cattle. We can destroy your children. Your ancestors would drive us from this mortal coil with pitchforks. Um, but you fat, civilized drones won't get up off your couch and actually do anything. Well-fed men don't usually revolt. But uh, this might be the first time in history. I occasionally listen to other pop culture channels, and I can hear their metal, mental gears working. Gary and the Quartering and the rest are outraged by the latest global nonsense propaganda, but they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year from YouTube, so, you know. They know that pop culture is vile. I know that they know the deeper issues that are afoot, uh, but they don't want to wreck the cash cow. That's why Comiskey is actually a different sort of beast. They're making their own stories. Douglas Ernst, Mike Miller, EVS, Myers, Mayland, Artie Bear, Doug Tenaple, Nasser, Cecil, Bancroft, uh, even Vox Dan, JDA, I don't know if they're exactly Comiskey, but they're independent creators. They're creating something, and they're not just talking about how bad Star Wars and Disney are. Yeah, they are, um, they're not going to, uh, Disney and Star Wars are not going to improve ever. That's over. That it's a that's a one way journey. Doomcock, Gary, and the Quartering are cool guys, but like Star Wars, Star Trek is beyond saving. And really, people are starting to realize that supporting Disney, Netflix, and the rest is just supporting people that literally want to see you replaced. Hollywood is full of evil people, like biblically Sodom and Gomorrah level of evil. Supporting them in any way is to promote that evil. From what I've seen with the streaming services, and there's a friggin' ton of them, um, <laughs> so I don't pay for any of them, but people have given, put me on their account, so I get to watch all this stuff. Uh, and honestly, I, like, I, I don't watch that much stuff. Um, it's just not that, it's just not good anymore. It's like, you don't want to... Anyway, um, they're all the same. They all have identity politics for their tribe, but not for your tribe. I don't know at what point it's going to click for the right-wing normie or even just the middle ground normie to start to understand that Hollywood and the media machine are the open enemy. You can't support them in any way. After Gina Carano, my, my beautiful fat Italian wife who, uh, she got burned by Disney. That should have been the last straw for people to realize that Disney isn't Disney. They've been in, invaded by pod people. They look human, but they're not. Or with Netflix and Cuties, or any of the anti-white hatred on those, anything to do with Hollywood. I use Hollywood loosely. Get a VPN. We could literally mail each other flash drives with like 100 to 200 movies on the drives. You could copy them and you could just mail them to the next person. Um, external hard drives go a long way. Or start private clouds. Uh, those already exist. You get the idea. Destroying the movie industry is an act of resistance. Fly that flag upside down, fly the skull, the um, stars and bars, or that other one. Why? Because F Hollywood. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join the channel while you can, <laughs> while I'm on YouTube, and uh, go to Odyssey and bitch you uh, for a little bit more free speech.